Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside Zapostas Arena here in Randolph, Massachusetts as the Norfolk Mallards getting set to close out their first home back-to-back -back against the same opponent here in franchise history. The Mallards, their third straight game against the visiting North Shore Nighthawks. They took the win 6-4 last Saturday up at North Shore. Another 6-4 win, so two games by the exact same score. And now the Mallards, third straight game against the Nighthawks, and they'll close out the season series on Saturday once again back at North Shore. But lots of business on tap here tonight. Got to get another full 60-minute effort as Norfolk going to go with Parker Butler for his fourth straight start between the pipes in this line that was also good last night of Morgan on the left side with Messam up the right wing. Smith up the middle. Going to get things going for Norfolk. On the blue line, it'll be David Pyla and Brian Austin. Austin playing just his second game. North Shore short bench for the second straight night. Lombard and Smith. Is Lombard going to tip the draw back? And we are underway here in the first period of play from Randolph Mass. In the corner, Duquette. Going to bash around to the near side. Picked up along the boards. Cardio going to work it to his left. Pinned in the far side corner. Duquette going to throw all the way down. Gets over the blue line behind the goal line and that'll be icing waved off okay in the corner played right to the front morgan picks up along the near boards he had a goal last night tossed all the way to the far side skips out inside the blue line snapped on goal and got blocked on the back end garno south of the goal line austin working the puck assist in the third period last night on what ended up being the game-winning goal for norfolk as it was a gritty game all the way north shore Two goals at, in that first period took a 2-1 lead. After two, we were tied 3-3. North Shore once again took a 4-3 advantage. And then the Mallards scoring three in a row to end the game to win 6-4 as that shot up out of play with 19.03 to go here in the first. Mallards after tonight, you're not going to have many opportunities to see this team left at home as they'll have four home games in April. This is the final home game in the month of March. As next weekend, a back-to-back -back on the road, first at North Shore on Saturday, and then on Sunday at Boston. Then Easter weekend will be an off weekend before the first weekend of the month, one home game on Sunday. Next weekend, splitting home and road, home on Saturday, and then on the road. Back to back the next weekend on the road, and then the regular season going to come to a close the final weekend of April with a back to back here at home against Holyoke. In the far side circle, working this puck ahead. Tipped at center by Hayden Kearney, rolls all the way down behind the line. Quillen in his own zone, skates a lane, tosses it up. Wheats over the red line into the offensive zone. Played right side of Parker Butler, who again makes his fourth consecutive start for the Mallards. He stopped 41 of 45 last night. After seeing just 23 shots in the first game of the series, comes up with a save between the blockers. And so we'll get an offensive zone faceoff here for the Nighthawks. North Shore playing their 13th game of 20. The Mallards game 11 of 20 tonight. Nighthawks come in 4-8 and eight with 8 points. The Mallards 4-4, four, 1-1 four, one one with 10 points. Draw left side of Butler. Patrick Martin going to get a faceoff win to his defense. Quillen, quick snapshot, got tipped on the way, trying to get it to the front. Kicking it out of there. Tomey plays through center. Down the far side wall is Shane Bates since he's getting tripped up and now going to get back to his feet. In the corner, wrapped right on around. Martin, a little give and go play into the corner it comes. Take the hop. Holleran was looking to the front. Holleran now with five goals and four assists. One of the top scorers on this Mallards roster. Brad McGovern, though, is a guy you got to keep your eyes on. You have to see him on the ice. Is this one going to chink the post? Rolls up the wall. North Shore coming with early pressure despite the short bench. They started warm-ups with just nine guys on the ice tonight, and then a couple more rolled in. And by our count, coming out for the game, 12 skaters over there. It's center side to side. Tomey, this one fed all the way down left side of the net. Starting goaltender down there is Hunter Patrol. Your Keegan McLaughlin played last night. Skating through the circle. The blue line fed far side. Brad Perry into the zone. Thrown on goal and Butler going to steer it aside. Up the wall. Perry in the corner board. 17.25 to go on the backhand. Right up top in the high slot to the near side. Duquette going to chase down to the board. Off the glass. Whistles down. Matt Downs in the corner. Forced all the way to center. Duquette having a hard time holding as he turns back a defensive ice. A goal and an assist for him last night. 
There's only three players had multiple points. He was the only one from North Shore with multiple points last night. McGovern and Kearney with a goal and an assist for Norfolk because that's an icing on the Nighthawks and we'll march it back down to the offensive zone here for the Mallards. 17-0-1 to go in this first period. As they'll opt to take the draw left side of the net, and now McGovern's line going to come to the ice for the first time in this game. Starting to get some chemistry with Brandon McGowan and Paul Cinquagrena, who's playing just his third game, but already has six points for the Mallards. Just a single one of those last night. He had a three-point game last Saturday. Back to the circle, fire to the front, skips past the post. In the corner, jam shot off the boards. Cody Woodward to the far side corner. Working it up the far side wall. Comes out through center all the way down for yet another icing with 16.41 to go. On an early start here on a Sunday night, 7 o'clock after we started. 8 o'clock last night. This North Shore team has had plenty of games that started at 8.30 and even 9 in their home building. So they're used to playing later in the evening. As the draw is set to the left of Patrol. And McGowan once again taking this one in the circle. Comes free along the boards. Duquette played to the corner. McGovern standing on his feet back of the right wing circle. A little toe drag play. Lost the puck in the corner. White bucket down there on the head. Brandon McGowan plays just his second game tonight for the Mallards here at home. Back in defensive ice as North Shore gets a change off. Brought up the middle on the drop feed over. McGovern into the zone, right wing circle, and a nice save. Hunter Patrol with 16-11 left here in the first. Mallards, the key number for this team is six. Is in all four wins, they've scored six goals. Coming in, their goal differential, pretty sound, negative five, all things considered, considering the fast-paced, high-scoring offense in this league. 38 goals scored total, 43 again, since so that shot up out of play by Morgan. And so we'll get yet another face-off here in the offensive zone for Norfolk. North Shore and those pretty blue visiting tops with the yellow shoulders, yellow numbers, and white trim. In Norfolk and the home whites, the green and black. Quick tip down in the circle. Morgan again as this one clips a leg on the way to the corner. Rolls up the wall, standing inside the zone. Pila, Morgan, now out left side defense. Got blocked as Austin trying to get it to the front. Now coming away in the corner, Danny Shea. Works it up the wall. Shea, the last player to arrive for this North Shore roster, got on the ice for warm-ups. With about four minutes to go in the warm-up. Left back to the defense, 15.44 to go. It's the casual semi-pro life here on a Sunday night. Is in front. Martin has it poked aside. Cordillo on in there, was trying to hack and whack. Nice to see him back in the lineup tonight for the Nighthawks as he did not play last night. Morgan up the right wing side, back of the circle, weaving, and he missed the right post. Mallard's getting a change off on defense. It's through the circle, swung up the middle. Here comes Lombard, far side, up into the zone. Cordillo as this gets blocked. Cordillo, two goals and a loss last weekend. It's Smith trying to cut through two defenders. Back of the left wing circle with those beautiful red gloves. Morgan up the middle, gets coat free. The blue bucket, Shea, going to feed it up the wall. Helmets of all size and colors on this North Shore roster. As Butler able to keep that one out. And just one shot going to come through. Backhand Lombard, fed down low into the corner. Lombard wears the captain C for this North Shore roster. 14.50 to go here in period one. 0-0 game as we're still looking for our first goal. Took over eight minutes last night to get the scoring started. Jack Holler at the 8.52 mark was the first goal. Butler being allowed to drop this one down to his left. Nighthawks change things up on defense. Side to side, Messam receives. Smith up the middle, tipping around. Turning and cutting on back goes Patrick Martin. Looks for some space as he dumps it off to his right side winger. Caroms all the way down in behind the goal line. Hand over hand in the corner. Tyler Harrington up the wall. Kevin Messam has it poked aside. Martin in the high slot, drifting, shooting, tips a skate. The board to the corner, mess on, wrapped all the way around. Picked up right wing board, right to the front and saves. Steered away by Butler once more, once again using his stick. Butler uses all the equipment he's got. He does have some pro experience, as we pointed out all season long. Three games in the Federal Prospects Hockey League with the Danbury Hattricks last year. Now playing his first season at the semi-pro level as Woodward again steered away with the pad. Up the wall, out to the point. Patrick Martin dumped through the circle. This line going to stay right on the ice. Nobody for North Shore with a short bench can complain that they're not getting enough ice time tonight. As McGovern 
Going to cut over center. Into the zone, near side, back of the circle, pulls up. Looking and waiting. Going to spin it on the backhand down behind the net. Kearney couldn't get to it as those two. Again, both with multiple points last night. A goal and an assist. And McGovern comes in, riding a three-game point streak. It's a nice save up top. Hunter Patrol with 13-19 to go here in the first. So another offensive zone faceoff for the Norfolk Mallards, who've controlled the season series in the faceoff circle. Faceoff will come right side. Is Kearney unable to win this one cleanly? McGovern chases it down low, pinned along the left side corner. And a kick it ahead, comes free. Kearney angling it back out to the blue line. Comes up the wall, Kearney right on back, knocked off the puck, Roberg into the zone in the high spot, backhand trying to get it through. Kearney picks it off as he'll turn with speed the other way, Norfolk trying to race it down four on three. Glove save with authority, Hunter Patrol to freeze up the play. So 12.51 to go here in this first, and Norfolk going to stay deep in offensive ground. The Nighthawks led by first-year head coach Mike O'Hearn. And we said the key number for Norfolk is six. Well, the key number for this Nighthawks team is five or better. They're four and one when they score five or more goals so far this season. And when they score four or less, they've yet to win as they're 0 and seven. On the backhand, right through the slot, there was nobody home. In the far corner, Gavin Ells again fed down low. Hand over hand in the corner, Duquette going to stand tall. Works it up the wall. Pinned at the blue line, going to race over center, into the zone, cutting through the middle. It's offside with 12.31 to go. The player's into the zone before the puck. You bring it back out to neutralize, get another face off, and the Nighthawks going to have it in the Mallard's end. On this near side on your YouTube screen. Seamus Lombard, the defenders, taking forward shifts this weekend. Able to win this draw back clean. Woodward D to D with the pass as it's brought ahead over center. Dumped all the way off the pads of Butler. Comes to the boards. Kick to the far side as Duquette on up. Hit a stick on the far side. Comes past the right post. Butler going to hold on. As it came right back to the front and he crammed it in the glove. Mallards and talking about head coaches Rick LeBlanc over there on the bench and getting a little help from Josh Callender, the goalie scratch tonight for Norfolk, as well as Tommy Billow, who suffered an injury after yesterday's game, is in the corner, weaving around Ryan Ells, who makes his Norfolk Mallards debut. Kicking at the top of the circle, looking to the front, kind of come loose, and a go on the backhand. Kyla played it to the wall. Skips up and out to center, Woodward fed ahead. Cordillo, now with five points on the season, up the middle, cutting on in, Butler! Kicks it on out to the right side. Through the circle, O'Reilly to the front, threw it wide. Rides the rails out to the blue line as Woodward tossing it ahead. Say got on a play, so with 11.40 to go, we'll get another face-off coming up. Game next weekend at North Shore. Going to be an 8 p.m. start on Saturday, and then it'll be a 7 p.m. game Sunday up at Boston. Is Lombard going to go against Kearney on the near side? Lombard trying to get it to his left, but comes back in Mallard's defensive ice. First man of the puck is Austin in the corner, thrust it around. Gets to Sanquagrena on the near side wall. Two goals, four assists through his first three games as a Norfolk Mallard. Is this one going to come ahead? It's nice to see this team snap their little losing skid last night, but North Shore on one of their own now with three straight losses. Off the leg, out to the blue line, held inside the zone, Austin, down low to McGovern in the corner. We're to full side of the rink game. Wanted to say 200 feet, but when you're playing winger to winger, not really 200 feet. It's 200 feet end to end, so the front butler kicks it out. Comes to the wall, Sinquagrena, hand over hand, stretch forward. McGovern with speed up the left wing side, beyond the circle, cut into the front, tossed up out of play with 10.50 now to go. The Mallers, without a couple of key pieces tonight, is Josh Ho, Justin Arnold, Pat Wren, Tommy Billow. We already said Josh Ho, Juwan Bolin, J.B. O'Donnell, Pat Tomley, Danny Brittner, Anders L, Scott Isabel, and of course Josh Callender, 
the goaltender scratches all those guys out tonight for the Mallards for various reasons as this one wrapped up the wall. Here at the semi-pro level with so many hockey players in the area, you can afford to have both an active roster as well as almost like a taxi squad type roster. And so the Mallards activating a few guys tonight. And I, of course, can't not mention Shane Bates as well. He was supposed to be in the lineup tonight wearing number nine, but he's sick, so we wish him the best. And hope he can be right back in the Mallards lineup next weekend. Up the far wall, Howler intake to check to the glass. Chasing it, Gurton wrapped around as it clipped the twine. Fed up the middle, kicking Patrick Martin on the backhand of the far side wall, streaking up Garrett Quillen into the zone, back of the right circle. This one held by Adam Tomey. Tomey looking, caught it right to the front, Butler off the pads, kicks it out, and the Mallard's going to surge it right the other way. Halloran over the center ice line into the zone, kicked up as it clips the boards. Brad Perry going to feed it right to the near side as Wheats going to ink toss it to Martin. O'Reilly rolls on back with that nice green Christmas tree-like helmet. His butler going to hold on with 9.43 to go. It's now more than half of this first period in the books, and we're still scoreless. So we said last night, took over eight minutes to get the scoring started before Hollering cracked the back of the back of the net. I said back of the board, but... That didn't sound right. Smith in the circle is up top. Woodward trying to come to the front. Butler watches it go by. On the left side wall, Danny Shea dodges a check. Going to stay on his feet. Drop pass, pass, looking. Angled out, Woodward. Fired on goal, clips a lay. Picked on the doorstep. Out the other way through neutral ice. And Rapatis going to chase it down here for the Mallards in his first ever shift here in the APHL. American Premier Hockey League in full display. It's a Pastis Arena this weekend is Woodward, and it's stripped aside. To the wall as the Mallards get another dump out of their zone. It's one thing here in this first period. The Nighthawks really controlling the play on the Mallards' end, winning out the neutral zone game, which is one thing that the Mallards have struggled with all season, trying to find their identity. Back of the right circle block, right to the front. Butler caught his pad on that one. Always in year one in your inaugural season, a matter of feeling out your identity. And for the Mallards, it's been getting goals on the offensive side of things and now trying to find the groove on the defensive side of things here, heading into the final weeks, not knowing what's ahead. Brought up with that USA bucket off the boards. It's Brandon McGowan wearing the 44 jersey, unlike his original 12 tonight. Dump side to side. A number that's been worn by a number of players as that hits the right side post. All sync with Grano with a look, trying to get the Mallards on the board. Right back into the zone. McGovern picks up in his defensive right ring. Out to sync with Grano. Cuts into the zone. Dipsy doodle one defender and Kunt with a second. McGovern looking for him yet again. Kearney trying to get to it off the wall. North Shore right the other way. It's about to neutral down behind the goal line for the icing with exactly eight to play here in the first. So we'll march it back down into the offensive zone for the Norfolk Mallards. We've been a pretty sound first period team all season. They've scored in the first period in all but three of their first 10 games, up through the circles and multiple goals, and three of those as well. Into the zone, back of the far circle, cutting to the front and couldn't get the clean pass. Looked like it was too big of a bullet. On the back end, McGovern picked on the far side over center, rolling into the zone down the left wing boards, drop pass out right to the top. It's all sync with Grena. Couldn't get that one through cleanly. McGovern jamming at it on the left side. Kept out of there. And Patrol comes up with a big kick save. Off the boards over center. Cordillo into the zone. Back of the right circle. Cutting to the net. Couldn't get something through on the doorstep. And Butler going to hold on with 721 remaining. And Mal is not the only team in the APHL in action tonight. As there's a handful of games. And there was also... Quite a few finals last night. Is this weekend loaded with action? Sue Nordietz taking down Toledo 8 7 last night in Hudson Valley, a big win over the Niagara Falls Buffaloes, who the Mallards do not see this season despite being in their part of the league. Sun Prairie over West Michigan 10 2. And then, of course, here your score was 6 4 last night. And later on, we'll talk about all the Sunday matchups here in the league as well as what's to come next weekend. Up the middle, cutting back of the right circle. As we've already said, the Mallards on the road for two straight, including game four of four in the season series. 
against North Shore next Saturday, and then Boston next Sunday. Up the middle through the lanes, Halloran is North Shore going to play two of their next three at home after tonight. And behind the twine with 6.45 to go, Nighthawks got defensive changes off. Cordillo sliding right to the front, trying to throw it bar down and missed. Up the boards, far side, Halloran gets it out to neutralize. Morgan with a good stick. It's Woodward, feed side to side. Duquette going to drift up, crosses center, dances into the zone, back of the right circle, snapshot saved by Parker Butler to keep this game 0-0. Draw going to be to the right of Parker Butler here in the offensive zone for the North Shore Nighthawks. Patrick Martin, the forward, who wears 91, taking the draw against Albert Smith. Smith pinned up in the circle. Finally gets to stick loose, but Martin going to get credited with the face-off W. Not a statistic you keep in this lead, but again, the Mallards great in the face-off circle all season, but struggling here early in this game tonight in that department. O'Reilly to the front, missed just past the post. Fed right to the front, kicking on the doorstep, mess up. Trying to get it to the front, whacking at that one, clips escape. Big snapper past the net. Rides the wall all the way out past the center line. In defensive ice, Quillen played D to D. Up the boards on the far side, picked up the middle by Nick Rapidis, who's making his Mallards debut. And have a Mallards jersey, so wearing his old NAHL top with the 69 on the back. Off the skates on the far side, pretty unusual number at this level, but Rapidis trying to have some fun tonight. Is Martin going to come on in? Kicked off the pads up the far side wall. Head right to the middle. Cinco Grena kind of turn it the other way. McGovern couldn't hold at the center line. It's North Shore able to pick right back up with 5.18 to go here in the first. Martin hand over hand in front of the Mallard bench, still controlling. Drifting, going to come up ahead. Waltz is into the zone. Now chipped up is McGovern. He gets back to his feet. Norfolk, though, not with many options. It's Cinco Grena over center. The right wing wall, back of the circle, drop pass. Matt Downs fired on goal, missed right side. Riding up the wall, right to the front, tipped. There's Matt Downs, gonna hold inside the zone. Knife to the front, clip the twig. We're going to patrol between the pipes here for North Shore. Stretch feed the other way, caught the stick of Kyle Weeds. He'll roll down the far boards. Martin, now back of the left wing circle, right to the front, caught the stick. Behind the net, down for the little jam shot play off the boards. Lapierre in the corner was looking for a center and feed. North Shore didn't have anybody in the slot area. Up the circle, out beyond center. Woodward and McGovern chasing as icing gets waved off. McGovern down low, looking for Kearney up top. Couldn't get there in time. All the way down the ice it comes. And icing not going to be called. Downs in the corner. Worked on the backhand. Is Robert going to pick it up? Fed to his left, Lapierre hit high with 4.02 to go. Top side of the circle, out it's Woodward, now just inside the blue line. The glass got settled. Now out through the skates, Holleran as he didn't know where the puck had gone. Roberg in with the dump. It's North Shore keeping the same five on the ice, but of a longer shift. Morgan couldn't settle it down off the boards. Woodward fired past the right post. Up in the circle, Gavin now is going to weave in behind the goal line, forced up Holleran. Hand over hand, poking around. Roberg going to stay on his feet with 3.30 to go. Morgan out through neutral, going to cross through the center circle. Up into the zone on the backhand of the corner. Chasing it down goes John Colloran. Going to stand tall, lays a high check. Is now at center. David Pyla going to throw it on in high. Duquette's got it to the left of his tendy with 3.10 to go here in the first. Again, we're still scoreless here from Randolph Mass on a Sunday night. Wrapping up the back-to-back -back with game three of the season series between these two division rivals. Up through the front in the circle, and these points on the line absolutely key this weekend. Mallers now in front of North Shore by two as a glove save made by Patrol. Parker Butler standing on his head. Down in net for the Mallards here yet again tonight. He's played seven of the first ten games for this team. Is Bacuzzi getting one game? And J.B. O'Donnell has two to his credit as well. And, of course, O'Donnell, not here with us tonight, is inside the zone. Came wide. Tipping off the stick, Garrett Quillen. Wrapped up high to Woodward. 
Tossing, Lombard gonna skate over center, back into the zone, can't get through two defenders, but stays on his feet. Right back up, Brian Austin, popped like a jackrabbit up high, and that one covered by Parker Butler, 2.27 left. So face off in the offensive zone here for North Shore. As it'll be to the left of Butler. Limbar gonna take it against Kearney. Kearney now with nine points for this Mallard team, sitting fourth on the squad. Is of course Brad McGovern still the leader with 17, seven goals, 10 assists. It's McGovern, a couple of milestones on this roster. First goal and first primary assist to his credit as well. As here he comes with it, McGovern drop settle. Morgan on goal and a nice save yet again by Patrol with 2.08 left. So the Mallard's going to stay in offensive ice, trying to get a goal here before we end to the intermission. The energy seems high on the Norfolk bench right now. Nice crowd in the stands here on a Sunday night. As we once again remind you, four home games remaining in April. Next one going to be April 7th. You got a chance to see this team a few more times before the season comes to a close here in the inaugural year of the American Premier Hockey League. Behind the net looking, comes up the left side wall. Quillen just inside the zone, kind of come ahead. Tied, Lombard looking to the front, got blocked. Pinned around Downs, trying to get it out of the corner. Working through the circle, skating, it's Harrington who's going to bring it up. Just a second shift of the period of that full bubble helmet. McGovern right to him, Harrington was down on a knee. Will stand right up, McGovern. A little spinorama play on the doorstep, Kearney couldn't whip it in. Tried to go for that backhand look, starting a 180 turn. Sinkor Grena just on the North Shore side. Back in his own Kearney, thrown on goal, and it's covered up by Patrol. 113 now left here in this first. This 0 score. North Shore going to bring their top line, or at least the line has been their top so far this weekend out. As we see Brandon Grinnell leaving the ice sheet, and he goes into the North Shore locker room, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. I don't know what the deal is there. It looked like he was walking under his own power, so maybe just an equipment issue with 113 left. But we'll see if Grinnell comes back. He was certainly one of the better guys on the ice for North Shore last night. As he himself had a goal in that third period, which gave him the lead before Northport scored three in a row. Off the panel, comes free in the circle. Girton going to skate up the far side, over the red line, into the zone, up the wall. He came over that spot on the far side. They gave us a little bit of an issue last night. We had an ice issue in the third period that stopped play for a little bit. Same spot they got toe picked, leading to a suspended game earlier on. Is Patrol going to hold on to this one? As we said last night was the first Mallard's full 60 minute home win in franchise history. Is that game against Hudson Valley it had to be finished on the road as it was suspended here. Like the last 10 minutes or so down in Poughkeepsie, New York. So the Mallards, first full 60 minute effort at home last night, coming away with a W. Face off in the far circle, out rolling up the boards. Matt Gurton inside the zone, takes a skip off a leg. Inside the zone in the high slot, hand over hand, cutting, weaving, hollering in the corner. Out to the blue line, Cordillo, drubbed over. Danny Shea now coming in, up the circle, top of the key. Ten seconds left, trying to jam a shot on goal. Downs as it was tipping around, let Bard on goal over the top. Went to the netting, the stop play here with 5.6 seconds left in period number one. So the face-off going to be a North Shore offensive ground. A righty heavy center roster. And so they'll go right side of Butler. Is Lombard going to take it against Albert Smith? Forced down Lombard, one to his left. Quick block, comes free into the corner. Jam shot to the net, but that'll do it. Here for period one. It's 20 minutes going to be in the books. And a full 20-minute effort played by both rosters, but no goals going to find their way past Hunter Patrol on the North Shore side or Parker Butler on the Norfolk end. We'll head to the second period. Is somebody looking to find the back of the twine? Oh, oh, score here from Randolph Mass after one. <laughs>
Welcome back inside the Pasta Arena as we get ready to go for period two, the period of the long change between the North Fork Mallards and North Shore Nighthawks. My name's Colby Smith. 20 more minutes going to go on the board, and we're still tied. Oh, oh, looking for our first goal here tonight in the third straight game between these two division rivals here in the East. The Mallards will go from left to right across your YouTube screen here in the second period, and the North Shore Nighthawks will go from right to left. Face-off going to be Kearney against Garrett Quillen. As Kearney going to wedge it forward, and we are underway here in period two. Back of the left wing circle, tossed up the middle, and going to come wide. Is all the way far side boards, lifted up on out to center. McGovern with a bullet pass over to Kearney. Back of the left wing circle, drifting up in a glove save made by Hunter Patrol to get us our first stoppage just 19 seconds into the period. An offensive zone face off for the Mallards, going to be inevitable. This will take it to the left of Patrol. It's Kearney against Lombard. As the official quickly thrusts that putt down. McGovern between the reins. Todrad moves through it wide. Up the boards it rolls. Brian Austin going to go hand over hand. Off the skates. And now moved ahead as Pilot couldn't hold on. Lombard, his Cordillo coming in two on one with him. Right to the front and Cordillo couldn't hold that puck in. Direct to the front of the goal. McGovern can't hold on. Cordillo going to jab at cross ice. Rolling on back goes Cody Woodward. Side to side to Cat. Lift this one. Kearney on the backhand up through the ring yet again. As North Shore hits the reset button a minute into this period. In the circle was looking for McGovern up the middle. Couldn't get it through. Duquette is hit poked up. Over center. Tossed all the way down in as it wraps. Cordillo near side corner on the backhand. Again standing tall Lombard. Jam play, McGovern, that one's going to go wide. The far boards, Woodward, standing, forehand, backhand. Is Norfolk going to come the other way? Kearney and McGovern in a 2 on 0 Kearney on the far side through the circle, toed to McGovern! And there was no shot there, trying to work the wraparound. Is the Mallard's opportunity going to go for not in a save, made by Patrol. Best opportunity of the game for either squad, and the Mallard's not going to get on the scoreboard. As they'll get another offensive zone face-off, but that's not what you want. You'd rather have the goal and a center ice draw, of course. So goose aids on both sides as the draw comes to the right of patrol. Brian Austin able to win that face-off back to his defense. Worked up the wall through the circle. Clips a skate, forced right to the front off the lead. It's a Matt Curtin. Comes to the boards, his hand over hand. Jake Morgan going to skate on back. Knife to the front, tossed wide. Now on over Girton. Last points in back-to-back -back game for the first time this season. Trying to keep his point streak alive. Over center, cutting into the zone in the high slot. Working down low on a cover-up play, Parker Butler. We get some contact down on the far side corner. On accidental contact with 17.50 to go here in the period. North Shore, you definitely don't want to lose a skater. Already playing short bench tonight. A little slow to get to his feet is Brad Perry down there in the corner. So the Nighthawks back in offensive ground here for the first time in the second period. The officials watching Halloran get to the bench as he's the one who got tangled up with Brad Perry in the first place in the corner. Albert Smith now with a face-off against Ryan Roberg. Putt dropped down. Roberg got it to his right side. Out of top. In a high slot on over. Dumped in by Danny Shea. Right side corner all the way around. Adam Tomey as it rolled up the wall and now shot on in. Tomey behind his own net. Tossed off the boards near side. Got away from Messam over center. Out the other way for the icing. With 17.29 to go. This Mallard's team has played in a lot of tight games. And as we said for the Nighthawks, they love those high-scoring offensive slugfests. They don't win when they don't score five or more. As this team shut out once in a game, only scored once in one game as well. Scored three a handful of other times. But have allowed quite a few goals. 
Now you have had a couple of games that have really padded their goals, four goals against differentials. They had a 15 goal game against, I think it was Hudson Valley. O'Reilly at the top of the circle, out to center. Shea can't settle this one down. Tipping, rolling through the middle, Perry. The one thing that will impress you about the Nighthawks is the speed, as we've seen spurts of it all weekend long. Best on this here. They come three on one. Back of the left circle, fired. This patrol able to keep that one out. Hunter Patrol went full spread eagle as Robert now on the backhand in the defensive ice. Worked by Downs off the board. Danny Shea going to pick it off. North Shore in on sides. Thrown towards the net and missed wide. Up the boards. Kearney tipped this one. O'Reilly filtered it to the far side. Going to receive it on back. A shuffle and force that one over. Back into the zone. Lombard beyond the left. Which circle thrown to the net and whistle wide. Off the glass, Kearney out to center, Woodward forced right in. Past the post it goes, down, chasing it down in the corner, so does Cinquagrana. The look, top side of the wall, McGovern skating on into the back end, and he's got it. The Mallard's going to crack the board first, it's one nothing. It's a beauty of an assist from Cinquagrana and neutral ice. Brad McGovern going to race on in and goes forehand back in to the back of the net. And it's a one nothing Mallards lead here at home. That'll be the eighth goal of the season and second of the weekend for the captain is the faceoff back at center. He's now got three goals in the season series against North Shore. Goal in each game. Far side boards. Lombard able to stay on his feet. Jammed off a skate. Going to roll up the wall. Out to center. Duquette. Forts it forward. And we get a whistle in the corner. 15.53 to go. And the officials having a bit of a conversation with Branniger now. Who is back on the ice here for the second period. As I mentioned late in the first. He left. Must have just been an equipment issue. Is Lombard going to go against Matt Gurton? This line for the Mallards loves to stack the left side winger and right side winger up tight. There's Morgan and Holler and have played together in practice for the last couple of weeks with Morgan making his Mallards debut yesterday. You love to see him getting right involved this weekend, having that goal and also having his fingerprints all over this game so far tonight. Duquette threw it around. Going to get through neutral. Morgan skating up. Into the zone he comes. Back of the circle to the net and a save made by Patrol. With 15 20 sits left in the second frame. Offensive zone faceoff coming up here for Norfolk. This will go to the right of Patrol. Albert Smith against Patrick Martin. Dropped right on down Smith. There was nobody in front of the net. Couldn't have gotten around there in time. Off the top of the half wall. Out the other way. Wheat's going to skate on in all alone. Up, Got blocked. And going to take a hop in the corner. First man of the puck is Adam Tomey. To work a lane. Passing it over to Albert Smith. He's playing his first season of affiliated hockey in six years. Is behind the net. Comes for the icing. 15.03 left. Former South Shore King played down the road in Foxborough for his junior days. As a draw will be deep in the offensive zone here for North Shore. 15.03 to go in period two here in the second half of the home back-to-back. -back. Mallard's looking for their third straight win. Is this one dropped on down? Going to get out of the zone. Chasing the other way, Duquette. Is that win at North Shore? Couldn't have come at a better time last Saturday after the Mallards lost to Hudson Valley the previous week, 4 1. Pinned off the front and a quick cover up, 14 49 left. So, an offensive zone face off coming up yet again for the Mallards here on your YouTube screen. 1 0 scores, Brad McGovern with a beauty of a feed from Cinquagrana. Going to beat the goaltender for the one nothing lead. Kearney tied in his skates. Little hit play out inside the zone. Again catches his skate in the high slot. Thrown over the net out of play. Went up into that netting. She plays pretty low here in Zapostas Arena. Just like every other junior semi-pro county rink in the area here in the New England region. 
Right side of patrol, Kearney once again going against Martin, a face-off matchup we've seen a lot of this weekend. Martin has got the better of Kearney on most go-arounds. Is this out through neutral? Skating on in comes Brad Perry, looking for a centering feed. It will stay on his feet. Tomey with it in the corner as it's stripped aside, right to the front, can't get a shot through. Hand over hand, Harrington out as McGovern, going to skate ahead. Over as he'll shuffle this one. To Hayden Kearney. Kearney tips it off the wall. Brad McGovern, top of the circle. Worked down low with 14.05 to go here in period two. Back of the circle, Cinquagrena drifting. High slot over the cage at whistle. Kearney picked up, was looking for the wraparound. Couldn't get it through. The boards standing and waiting to the front. Up off the top of the glass. Cinquagrena again in the corner. Right in the circle, McGovern stands tall. Out inside the blue line, forced to the front in a great save by Hunter Patrol yet again. Mallard's continuing to pepper him here early in this second period. A shot after shot coming from this offense. They'd love to show that they can win close scoring game, but certainly wouldn't complain about Pat Moore goals up on the scoreboard. Here in front of their home crowd in Randolph, Mass. Right to the front office gate. This team, we want to remind you, not back at home again until Sunday, April 7th. This will be the weekend after Easter. This team will play a 7 o'clock game here against the Boston Gold Canes. As we'll get this one over center. Lapeer on the backhand, fired all the way down low. Chasing in right to the front. Couldn't be settled down as it got away from Harrington. Behind the net, off into the corner. Working up, Danny Shea going to take a high hit from Matt Downs. My guy's in white, going to go the other way. Over center comes Holler into the zone in the high slot, waiting, shooting off the pads. Patron loves using that right side pad with a steer around plays up the boards. This one's going to come. Tied to the wall, Holler and stays on his feet in the circle again to the backhand. Up through the middle, going to get out beyond. Over the top of the cage, takes a ride to the front, tipping it on goal, and Morgan couldn't get it through. Goes down to the ice in the corner, and now hops back to his feet as North Shore right back the other way. Cutting through two defenders, can't cut through a third. The Mallards, little pocket pit play at center. O'Reilly going to maneuver on in. Back of the right wing circle, pass across on the backhand, kicked off the pads, and North Shore going to go for not on their opportunity. Quillen right back in defensive ice. Forced up the middle, O'Reilly back to the left circle. On ahead, the other way, Rapista forced off the boards. Gowan now going to get tripped up. And so we'll see this Mallard power play for the first time tonight. McGowan looks like he's going to be all right as he's waving mess him off. Certainly caught him off guard the way that stick came between his skates. He's had him fall at an awkward angle, but a five on four. Going to come up here for the next two minutes. Seamus Lombard going to go to the circle. Mallets did have a power play conversion last night as they went one for three. Draw to the right of Patrol. It'll be Woodward slotting in on the right. McGovern unable to win the faceoff, and the Nighthawks quickly trying to get out of the zone, but Norfolk pits it off at the blue line. Side to side, Brian Austin up the wall into the corner with 11.52 to go here in the second. Picked up the middle, Kyle Wheat's going to skate the other way, running some valuable clock time off. The right wing boards through the circle, waiting, shooting, and he missed. McGovern chases it down on the far side. Picked on up over center, into the zone down the far wall. Tossed over Cinquagrena, holding in the back of the circle with 90 seconds now to go. Crossed over, back of the circle, right to the front, jammed off the pads. Can't get a rebound look, and out of the zone it comes as Cinquagrena chases it down in defensive ice. A minute and 15 to go here on the Mallard Man Advantage. We're going to spread those wins and soar. Is over center, Cinquagrena on in. Back of the circle. In down low through his legs. Hollering. Up top to McGovern. In the high slot. Pushed over. Now a trip up play. Woodward. Going to throw a last ditch check. With 10.55 to go here in the second. 52 to go on the kill for North Shore. Sinclair Grana snapper. 
kicked away. In the corner, David Pyla worked up top McGovern, drifting, jammed it over. And glove save is Hunter Patrol coming up with another big one for North Shore. Down to the net comes Butler to play. Hasn't seen much rubber so far in the second period. Not that we want to play jinx in that respect here for the Mallards. McGovern over center, back into the zone. Pulls up along the right wing wall with 22 seconds remaining in the man advantage. It was a tripping call on Lombard. Is this one going to flip a twig and goes to the netting to leave just 16 seconds now on this Mallard power play? North Shore hoping they can kill it off and keep this a one goal game here about halfway home. Face off to the right of Hunter Patrol. There will be Matt Gurton. He'll go against Brad Perry. Quick win for Gurton up the boards. Floating inside the zone. Holler into the front. Kicked on out up the wall. Chasing it down goes Matt Downs as he'll throw a high hit. Gurton in there helping out as well. Cordillo forced the other way. Norfolk back to center. Up. Downs going to clip it with a stick. Lombard comes out. We're back to five on five. Stretch feed. Lombard threw up high out of play. So an offensive zone face-off coming up with 9.57 to go. Here in period number two. Draw to the right of Butler. As Martin unable to win this one. Forced off the boards. Going to get out beyond center. And defensive ice. Quillen goes down. He'll spring right back up. As Norfolk kind of worked this 200 feet gain. One area they struggled in the middle period last night where North Shore took control of the game with a momentum spurt. O'Reilly back of the circle. Cutting, going to pull up along the boards. Jack Holleran gets it over center. Quillen through his legs. Hand over hand. Forced off the boards to Leak. Gurton with a long shot got blocked up the middle. Racing the other way. Goes Brad Perry over center. Back of the left wing. Circle to the front. Poked on out. The wall, Patrick Martin waiting. Top of the key, O'Reilly drift in through it wide. Halloran blew a tire out beyond the blue line. Now he's trying to race down, but Woodward picked the puck off in transition. Up through the air, caught the shoulder pad of Matt Downs in the corner. Woodward's got it. Forced up top as Kevin Mess. I'm going to skate the other way. Clears it in with 8.48 to go. Martin on the left side, going to go hand over hand with the Mallards able to get a change off in the process. Down it'll come as it caught a stitch. Smith back in defensive ice. Sunday, April 7th, the Nets home game here is at Boston's Arena. It'll be against the Boston Gold King. So mark it on your calendars now. 7 p.m. start. We'll also have it for you here on YouTube like all our other Mallards home games live. The boards waiting, shooting to the front off the pads. Jam shot play to the front and covered on down. Going to get the other way is the race. Over center right to the front. And that one's going to come wide. Off the wall behind the net. Now big hit to the glass. Waiting up the middle. A little toe drag play to the front. Couldn't get it through. In the corner up high. Good stick out to the blue line. Right to the front. Clips the leg. Now again, Kevin Messam over center, back into the zone, beyond the left, retail, fired over the cage, and again, the wall, Patrick Martin, fed to the middle of Shea, going to toss it on back. Drew Kettle on the near board, 7.37 to go in period two, still a one nothing lead for the Norfolk Mallards, if you're just tuning in, Brad McGovern scored just shy of four minutes into this period, and since then, still trading opportunities and rushes back and forth down the ice. Off a of skate as the night on. Definitely looking to cash in here in the second half of the period. As they've certainly played a very well-rounded game thus far. Just haven't gotten anything past the former pro in Parker Butler. Stretch feet up beyond center. Coming on in, Sinquagrena. Beyond the right wing, took him to the top of the key over the net. Caught on the top. And Hunter Patrol going to hold it with 7 one to go as the play gets stopped. So another offensive zone faceoff here for the Mallards, up 1-0 in the game. 
Josh Hogan, you'd think the Mallard offense would certainly be losing a key spark. And yeah, maybe they only have one goal on the board, but this offense has really hung and gripped and fought around. Hogue hoping to be right back in the lineup next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, back to back on the road for the Mallards. Because he'll be at Nellis Shore, 8 o'clock on Saturday, then 7 o'clock in Boston, Sunday next weekend. Is the officials having a conversation between the circles? Night haunts Woodward over there with Cinquagrena. Finally get a point, and they will take it left side of the net. Kearney taking the draw, and Seamus Lombard. Drop down, Kearney right to the front, and quick cover-up play, only going to run two seconds off. But our score is still 1-0. Kearney and Lombard. The official dropped it right on down to the front. It comes with a nice little cover-up play yet again. So five seconds in total off two face-offs. And the pace slowing down a little bit after we have been moving right along here tonight in Randolph. Back of the circle, McGovern. Top right to the front, and they tipped it in. The Mallard's going to make it 2 nothing with 6.52 to go here in the second. They celebrate as if Brad McGovern got the deflection play. So that'll be his second of the game and ninth of the season. As we'll come right back to center with the faceoff. Matt Gurton going to win it behind him. Chased in defensive life, Brian Austin. Side to side as it stretched ahead over center. Back into the zone up the wall. Arnold throwing it wide. Rides the wall. Now chasing back. The backhand out to center. Lombard trying to cut on through. Cordillo, the left wing wall. Right to the front. Butler as it trickles in five hole. And the Nighthawks going to make it a 2-1 game. Butler going to wait. And they wave this goal off. Now what the officials saw there to wave that one off. But the Nighthawks thought they had it. I'm trying to cut it to a one-goal game. It's now not going to be the case. As the Mallards still remain on top by two. Definitely wonder what they saw. As there was no goaltender interference there. Butler just kind of let it on through. It was Lombard on the backhand saucers it up. So still a 2-0 score in favor of the Mallards here in their fifth to final home game here in year one. Again, I do apologize. It's April 7th, but it's actually April 13th that this Mallards team is next back at home. at an 8 p.m. start, and it will be against Boston. So I at least done that part right. Is this one going to wrap the wall? Cordillo on his feet. So April 13th, the next home game, and then the following weekend, going to be at home on Sunday, April 21st. Over center, down the far wall, cutting through the middle, back to the left wing circle. Morgan stays on his feet, now takes a hit. 5.33 to go is this one up through the air. Cordillo going to come over center. Maneuvering back into the zone. Pulls up along the wall. Kicking this one around. Girton threw it to center. Hand over hand. All the way down past the goal line. Gavin L's the first one of the puck because we haven't seen a whole lot of him on the blue line tonight for the Mallards thus far. I wonder if that might change as the defense getting a little winded here. Playing two pairs, quite a bit of time. Elves, spoon to Ed. Behind the net, Duquette going to chase with 4.55 to go here in the second. Off the top side of the half floor, Cordillo going to race back in. Off the pad, Butler, and they look for a rebound, and Kuhn, it was Lombard who cut on in with him. Smith dives down, now going to get back to his feet, throws the body a bit. Off the boards it goes, is that one thrown over the cage? A little opportunity for Brandon McGowan. He hasn't played a whole heck of a lot here for the Mallards yet. In the zone, side to side, Owls threw it wide. Up the far board, Adam Tomey going to force feed it in. Messam's got it along the corner. Up through the air. Well, Hail Mary pass back Messam. 
to his defender up off the boards against Smith. Right on in defensive ice, side to side. Duquette stretched up, got blocked by Messam, who is a big body on this Mallard roster, one of their bigger forwards size-wise. Now sub four to go here in the second. Two nothing lead for the Mallards with McGovern having both goals and both coming here in the second period. Left side of their goaltender stretched on the ice, caught weeks to stick behind the goal line all the way down, no icing. Standing on a feet, Weeds. Hacking at this puck as McGovern, little turnaround play right to the front, up through the air. Swatted right on down, diving McGovern, going to cut that the other way. Looking into the zone, he comes in the high slot, back of the circle, can't stay with it. As he's turned off the puck, looking for the hat trick here late in the second. Right on in the other way. Back of the left circle, looking to come to the front yet again, 3.20 to go. Turning down low, standing top of the blue paint. Waiting through the circles, this one tossed off. Right to the front, Quillen was looking. In the corner, Patrick Martin. Comes up the boards, and now out to center. Side to side, O'Reilly. Cutting with a one-hand play up the middle, loses possession of the putt. Mallard's deep feed the other way, McGovern racing. Will the officials call icing? Yes. As we'll march it right back down into the offensive zone with 2.51 to go here in period two. McGovern, definitely not the fastest skater for this Mallards roster. But he certainly got a lot of authority on the ice. Knows what he's doing out there. Finds the right spots at the right time. Is the draw to Butler's right. Going to be Roberge against Kearney. Kearney gets some help as McGovern clipped this one off his twig. Up the boards, Tommy McGovern now stretched through the middle. Up the far wing wall, Cinquagrena be on the right wing. Hand over hand, right to the front, McGovern couldn't get it through. He was looking for his third goal, would have been another great setup. Is that out of play? The stick of Tommy. Leaves just 2.35 to go here in this second. This is the Mallard once again going to be in the offensive zone. Here late in this period. Face off, left side. Hunter Patrol quickly dropped on down, up through the air, takes an odd spin to the corner. Morgan on the back end, looking to the front. Tied on up through the range that comes, up the board, settled on down Brian Austin. Hand over in, waiting back inside the zone. Force fed right to the front on doorstep, kicking around in a cover up play. Hunter Patrol. With 2.17 to go here in the period. That's exactly what you need if you're the Mallards. Continue to test the goaltenders. Looked a little shaky here in the second period. Draw will be Matt Curtin against Limbard. Waiting, drop down in front of the wall. Up the middle, hand over hand. Cutting through to the front. Now going to come free to the wall. Limbard on over. Kicking it was O'Reilly. Now soccer down behind the goal line. His holler in, takes a check. Standing on the doorstep, jammed it through. His butler gets beat clean. And it's 2-1 Mallards now. They always say that good things happen when you go to the net. And you see why there. Is it'll be the second point of the season series for Brendan O'Reilly. First goal. And we'll come back to center now with the Nighthawks within one. Albert Smith against Patrick Martin. The face-off matchup. Is the puck drop down? Quickly ahead comes Weeds. Big wind-up got blocked trying to get it through. Rolled up the wall. Going to stay on his feet. Weeds now chasing in the corners through the air. Got out of play with 147 left. So we'll get a new puck. Is Butler going to watch as the faceoff will be to his right side? Again in the offensive zone here for North Shores. They're looking to try to tie this game up. Had a stretch last night where they had a lead by two goals. And now tonight they trailed by two goals. So it's certainly almost like a rolls reverse type thing. As to the front, Butler going to kick it out. Matt Downs in the corner. 
Tossed over as Gavin L is in the near corner. Rolled up off the glass. Duquette neutralized. Played side to side. Is in front of the bench. Off the wall. Back down. Smith rolling through the circle. Going to come on up. Top of the key. Waiting. Couldn't get it through on the backhand. Held on to. By, by Parker Butler with 107 to go. So we'll get an offensive zone face-off here yet again for the Nighthawks as the officials converging. Having a conversation with Quickland and Messam. It's the Nighthawks. Going to pound their sticks on the bench. It's like we are getting a penalty. We'll wait and see what's coming up here. Two on our score in favor of the Norfolk Mallards. And the official is going to point on over. They call penalty shot. Okay. So the Nighthawks thought we were just going to get a trip call, but instead, Quicklin going to come on in. Back of the circle, maneuvering in, and he missed. He caught the post with it, trying to go on the backhand. And so, we remain in a 2-1 score. Again, it looked like initially we were just going to get a tripping call. But instead, we get the penalty shot. And North Shore able to stay down in the offensive zone as they still look for the game-tying goal. Would have been huge if that one had gone through for Quicklin, but instead, still trailing by one. Up the boards, out to center, Duquette able to pick it. On the backhand, rolling on up. Woodward, back of the circle, waiting, going to pull along the boards. Along, into the corner, staying on his feet as Lombard. Back of the circle, Duquette, shot down low right to the front, crew it wide. Off the wall, able to stand tall as Kyle Wheats played to the front through the slot. Back down in the corner goes Cinque Grena. Up the wall, McGovern can't settle in neutral. 35 seconds left here in the second. Off the boards, couldn't be settled by Limbar. Mallards go back on the chase. Reeds in his own zone. To the wall, down to a knee. Little spinorama play. Back on up, right to the front, Cordillo. And Butler going to hold on with 15.8 left. Face off going to come left side of Parker Butler. Kearney will take this face off. Tipped right up through the slot. McGovern chases it down right side of the net. Right to the far side. All the way down. Sinquagrena dives. It will haul up with the puck. Kearney couldn't hold on as that will do it. Here for period two. We get three goals in the second period. The first two come from Brad McGovern and Brendan O'Reilly scores with just under two to go in the period. Also get a penalty shot from Quicklin that won't go in the second period loaded with action. When we come back, we'll see what the third has in store. But the Mallards take a two to one lead to the dressing room here after 40 minutes of play.
Welcome back to Zapastas Arena as we get ready to go for the final period of the weekend here at home. North Shore gonna go left to right, Norfolk right to left. Just Cordillo gonna tip the drop in and we're underway here in the final period. The Mallards in the defensive zone gonna work it the other way. Kearney up the right wing wall, back of the circle, fed cross ice gonna come to the boards. Beyond the circle, hand over hand, Cinquagrena fed it on back. Into the corner, Austin going to stand tall as Lombard going to chip it over center into defensive ice. Hyla left it up the wall, Lombard, little chip forward. Top of the circle, through neutral, McGovern over center. Back of the circle, hand over hand, the front slid wide. All the way up the boards, David Pilot chases it down. Pilot trying to get going here in this middle part of the schedule as that one floated up out of play. With 19 12 to go here in this third period. Draw will be in the neutral zone in front of the Nighthawk bench. As the draw will be left side of Hunter Tutral. Dropped on down left side of the net. Worked up the boards as Matt Curtin stays with it. The middle, back to the near side. Jack Haller in on the backhand, all the way down low. Matt Curtin right to the front in a cover-up play by Tatral. Gonna halt the play. 18.48 to go here in this third and a 2-1 score in favor of the Norfolk Mallards. If you're just dropping in to join us, Brad McGovern has a pair of goals. He's on hat trick watch here in the third. Lone goal thus far for the Nighthawks is Brendan O'Reilly. And Zach Butt Landon had an opportunity to tie it. We do apologize on the name change. But Landon, we're being told we're an 11 tonight for the North Shore Night Odds. Thank you to those writing in on our feet. Uh, YouTube comments is in the high slot, kicked off the pads, and steered right out to the blue line. Up and a hit going to be laid as the door pops open, so we immediately hold the play. See that door wasn't shut all the way. As Woodward went down, that could have been bad. Officials trying to make sure that door is secure with 18.25 to go. There's a draw going to stay right here on this near side where that incident just occurred. Roberg and Smith, is Roberg able to win it to his defense? Left off the top of the wall. Smith trying to cut on in as the defense has got it. Stretched up as it caught Messam skate in front of the Mallard bench. Sent all the way down in for the icing with 18-13 remaining. Despite with having some key absences tonight, this Mallard team is hung tall and hung tough. As they put together a well-rounded effort so far. Draw left side of Parker Butler. Smith going against Ryan Roberg. One up top, O'Reilly tossed off the leg. Can he get along the far wall? Kevin Messam out on through. Sliding up, gave it away was McGowan. North Shore quickly, Roberg going to come into the zone on sides. That was a pretty close one. Along the wall, right on out, McGowan. Hand over hand along the wall, O'Reilly, back of the circle, weaving on through, looking off the pads, steered on in front, and Butler going to kick it out. He surrendered just one thus far, he got beat clean, back late in that second period, but other than that, he's looked stellar here tonight, and he's trying to put together his best performance of the season here against his Nighthawk roster tonight. Defensive ice. He hasn't surrendered fewer than three in a game yet. Obviously not trying to play James, but just something to keep an eye on as a key statistic here early in the third. McGovern able to pick this one up. He'll cut on ahead through the middle. Back, far side, drop feed. Drifting, shooting, steered up. He's going to stay in play. Sinkle Grano with a good opportunity. Rides the wall on the far side. Top of the circle, tipped up and going to go to the netting. The halt play with 16.58 to go here in this third. So the Mallard's going to stay in the offensive zone. As the officials getting a new game puck. As it'll be to the left of Tetrault. Kearney 
against Seamus Lombard in the face-off circle. One to the wall, past McGovern it goes. Out to the blue line, standing through in the circle. Gonna drift up ahead, go the Nighthawks over center. Into the zone, four on three. Dipped away to the wall by Matt Dowds as McGovern gonna weave behind his own goal. A hit play to the wall, Kearney able to swoop it up. Trying to feed it forward to Gavin Ells. Gets out as McGovern gonna stretch it forward. Here's Shinko Grena down the wall, pulls up back in the left wing circle, up the middle. Getting this one in was Robert. Quick glove save to deny McGovern. As we remain 2-1 in favor of the Mallards, it was 16-24 to go in the third. Mallards not back at home for a couple more weeks after tonight. They'll be on the road next weekend and get a weekend off before they're here. April 13th, off the crossbar, that one went, chasing the other way, Cordillo, into the offensive zone, fed through the middle in the high slot, back hitter over, and Cordillo goes bar down to tie this game up at 2-2. Cam Cordillo gets his third goal of the season set against Norfolk here in his second game played. And we'll be tied up at two here early in the frame. Mallard's now going to look to try to answer as they jumped out to the 2 nothing advantage. And now it's given up two straight. Face off one back by Lombard. He's through the air. This one will take a hop. Cordillo beyond the left wing ring. Dipping, looking to the front. Butler going to swallow it up. 16-03 now left. We'll get an offensive zone face-off here for the Nighthawks. Who started to finally catch their stride here at the start of this third period. Came out of the dressing room with speed and authority. But here they were shouting that they wanted to get the job done and that the boards were buzzing. There's a dive on down. Smith knocked out of there. In the corner, Cordillo forced up top. Woodward thrust to Cordillo. Speared trying to get it to the front. Cordillo... Now from the corner, tipping. Butler able to keep it out. Worked up the wall, out of the zone. It comes beyond center. Woodward, first man back to the puck. As the blue bucket with the North Shore logo on the side. Through the circle, trying to pick up some speed. Going to go on the back end. Cross ice with this one. Set on a tee. Is into the zone, comes North Shore. Rolling along the wall. Gabe Duquette going to stay on his feet. Through the circles, pops back to the board with 5.18. Now left is a hit play to the wall. Standing, Cordillo on the backhand, drub forward, comes left side. Is Adam Towie going to work up the wall? Mess some through the middle. Woodward's got it in defensive ice as Norfolk making a change. Woodward swerving through the circle, left off the boards yet again. Cinco Grena into the zone in the high slot, waiting, pass on over, and McGovern couldn't get a shot. Through the circles, you can tell they're trying to set him up, trying to get a hat trick here tonight. It'll be the, not the first, but the second one in Mallard's history. His over center, we had one at Boston a few weeks back. Is this one going to come out over center? McGovern pits it on back in defensive ice. Hat trick in that game was Justin Arnold, who's no longer with us, at least for the time being. Over center, into the offensive zone, top of the right wing circle off the pads. Going to come wide behind, and that is Cinco Green. Uh, going to pull up, looking behind him. Yet again off the wall, McGovern. Standing, waiting, poked over the blue line. Cinco Green over center. Side to side, hand over hand, waiting, fired, and he missed. Just by a couple of inches, he whistled a pass. Now going to get blocked. Turning the other way, Martin. Into the zone, two on one comes North Shore. Waiting, going to shoot himself, and Martin able to bury it. There's the Nighthawks have three in a row, and they lead 3-2. Patrick Martin going to beat Parker Butler. As you can tell, that would be the one. There's a big 32 would want bat for the Mallards in goal. 
just came all the way in past the blocker to the top of the twine. And so 3-2 our scores. This one forced off the boards. Austin chases it back. Right side of Parker Butler's goal in the corner. Tossed by Roberg around. Near corner, Jake Morgan, 13-33 to go right in front to get another. Ryan Roberg, great setup from the boards. It's 4-2. You would have thought that the Mallards would have put together a better start to this third after the way they looked through the first 40. But certainly Norfolk not coming out here with the best of starts. They're going to take a timeout. 13.30 to go in the third. It's 4-2. Back inside the Pasta Serena, Mallard's taking a timeout. They're now trying to get back in the score column as they have given up four in a row to the Nighthawks. Off the top of the glass, going to get out of the zone, chasing it down in defensive ice with 13 13 to go here in the third. Up through the circle, hand over hand, trip up, and okay, now we are going to get the penalty. Butler trying to get off, Cordillo touches, and the official is a couple seconds slow with that whistle. Late call. No matter how you want to call it, but the Mallards will get to go to the power play, and maybe this is just what the doctor ordered. Four different goal scorers in this game. Is the three goals here to start the third? Less than three minutes total apart. Is the draw going to be to the right of the troll? Kearney takes this one. Five on four here for the next two minutes. Tip down behind the goal line. Pin to the wall. Trying to get this one loose. Kearney darting to the front. And the low slot can't get it through. Messam pits up in the far corner. McGovern out up top with 12.48 to go here in regulation. Glove save to Troll. Now trying to drop in cover as they start the play. It was 1.42 left. Another offensive zone face off forthcoming. It's Kearney once again taking this one. Behind the net, Cody Woodward trying to clear it out. McGovern up top with this one. Going to take a check in front of the night hot bench. Knifing at this butt. First one to it goes Garnell. Out of the zone from the high slot. Pass back. David Kyla worked up the far wall. Kearney now right back to the near boards as the Mallards having a hard time getting anything going here. Big check on down. Is a play halted with 111 left. Certainly not what you want to see. Here's the Mallards already struggling in this third. Kearney is a guy you wouldn't want to lose. Looks a little winded, but he's getting up and he's skating like the trooper he is. They still head to the Mallard bench. And power play two. Going to come off. Coach Rick LeBlanc calling out his guys by number. As he's pulling Harrington and David Pyla off the ice. Simple Gray now going to head off to the bench as well as they make a last-ditch change, bringing Jake Morgan on out. 
Face off left to Butler. Got to get a win. Get it out of your zone. Get a rush to the net. Here's the puck dropped on down. Tied up left side is the Mallards. Going to stretch it up. Holler in the Albert Smith off the board. Saucered up. Takes a skip off the top of the boards. Cleared right back the other way out of the zone. It's the Nighthawks. Go back and play chase. Racing for it goes Holler in. Into the corner. He beats Weeks to the puck. Going to stay with it. Holler and sprays up some ice, comes through the middle, the left wing side in front of the night hot bench. Now beyond the circle, bash play off the boards to the near side. Working it in comes Gavin Ells. Sliding to the front of the net, gave it over to Albert Smith. Pulls up in the corner, Smith waiting hand over hand behind. 30 seconds left on the Mallard man advantage. It seems like it's taken quite a while. Is Tetralt going to freeze the play up? 25 to go on the power play here for Norfolk. And the Mallards going to switch power play units out yet again. Got to do something to generate some momentum here. It's just two shots thus far on the power play. And neither one a primo grade A chance. Kearney with the draw against Lombard. High down up. Forced on the backhand by Sinclair Grain out to neutral. Side to side. Towie going to feed to his left. Received here by Synchro Grain over center. Back into the offensive zone beyond the right wing circle. Cutting down into the corner with 10 seconds now left. Back out up top. Towie to the far side. Beyond the circle. Waiting up top. McGovern. Shot. Steered away yet again. Riding up the boards. Towie. Dumped out of the zone by the Nighthawks. Is a penalty going to expire? As we're back to 5 on 5. The Mallards are 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. McGovern throwing the body around in the corner. 10.48 to go. Worked the other way by the Mallards. Off the boards in neutral. McGovern going to skate on in. Beyond the right wing circle up the middle yet again. Cutting through to the front. Kept out. Right the other way. The Nighthawks up the middle. Hacking at this puck in the circle yet again. Robert picks up. He'll cut down the far wall. One hand on the stick. Going to shuffle into the zone. Now trips himself up into the boards. Hit as they'll get this one. McGovern the other way. Into the zone and on sides. Morgan right to the front. Steered by Chitral to the far side corner. Coming up Jack Holleran. Can't get the body on. There's O'Reilly. Going to weave ahead. Threw it over center. Chasing down in defensive ice goes Towie. In the corner. Generates some speed. Morgan's got a twig on it. O'Reilly in his own zone. Chasing it back down right to the front off the pads. Picked up as Weep's going to slide in transition the other way. Side to side, go to the fence. 9.45 to go here in the third in a 4-2 game for the North Shore Nighthawks. Brad McGovern scored the first two of the game since North Shore with four straight. And the net immediately going to come off. Morgan went right into the post. And he's trying to argue that he should get a call. If we certainly believe he should. He got cross-checked from behind, and the Mallards not going to love that no penalty call comes as a result. So Trollt skating over into the corner, talking to his boys as he's trying to stay fresh. Again, when you're not tested much as a goaltender, got to do everything you can to keep your legs fresh, stay on your feet. So Trollt off to his left. Albert Smith going to take this one against Patrick Martin. This will blow the whistles. Martin going to jam it back behind him. Tossed off the boards, out over the red line, back on down in, covered up by Parker Butler with 9.28 now to go. The Mallards were certainly hoping they could spread their wings and fly to a home back-to-back -back weekend sweep, but not going to be easy here in the late part of this third to get two to at the very least tie this game, then to send it to OT. Three would be great. Get the win here in regulation. Is Martin going to go against Kearney? Hard to win three straight games against an opponent, but these two teams are going to have another meeting on tap on Saturday at North Shore. It'll be an Essex, 8 p.m. start. Top of the circle, cutting down the wall. A land in. Is that going to go bar down? Wave it off. McGovern right the other way, trying to catch him sleeping. Into the zone. Poked off the boards right to the front. 
Todrad playing, Kearney couldn't jam it in. It was a great feed from Cinco Gray now, who sees the game well. Over center, Wheat's going to chase on down in the corner. First man of the puck is Adam Towie. Stays on its feet as he dodges a check. Kicked down to the corner by McGovern. Right back to the near side, off the boards. Back in defensive ice, hand over hand. Tossed up past an outstretched stick all the way in as icing. Going to come here against the Nighthawks. So we'll be back down to the offensive zone here for the Mallards. It's Cody Woodward having a call, not a call, but a conversation with the official about that last call. I say it was a bad call, but you lead 4-2, so just keep your head down and play hockey. Is Matt Gurton going to take this draw? Tipped in a circle right to the front past the post. Behind the net, trying to work the wraparound. Morgan stayed with the puck. Out inside the zone, hand over hand. Going to come right to the front, spin around play over the net. Again takes a hop. Patrick Martin in the corner, side to side. Martin again on his feet. Jack Holler and stays with it. Pass up through the air. Takes a few bounces. Down in defensive ice. Gavin Ellis working the wall as if one got touched by Lombard. Up into the zone. Down the right wing circle. To the corner it comes. Quick rebound look as Butler able to kick it out. The other way, Woodward drops it on down. Off his tape. Going to clear it in. Butler out to play as he sets it on a swivel for Tyler Harrington. Through the ring, out to center, Woodward. Going to go hand over hand, dropping back. Cordillo on the near side, who had the first goal of the night for North Shore. All the way down low, Morgan side to side, Harrington in the corner. Again, haven't seen much of him tonight, playing his debut game here for the Mallards. And plenty of practices as he gets beat again. Parker Butler clearly frustrated in his third period. He's now given up four. Most he surrendered in a period all season. Brandon Grinnell going to get credit for the goal. It's his third in the season series against Norfolk. Mallard's making changes, and no doubt that you should. 5 2 your trail. Lombard at center. Kearney was trying to win it to his right, but North Shore gets another win. Chipped off side to side. Rolling on a hit. Garrett Quillen puts a twig. Sinclair Grain off the boards. McGovern in looking for the hat trick. To the high slot. Dished it off. Sinclair Grain out trying to find him back door and can't. Up the middle behind the net. Seamus Lombard far side in front of the Nighthawk bench. McGovern jamming at this one. Kearney as it comes aside. Chased by Simple Green as it's left to his defense with seven minutes remaining here in regulation. 5 2 score in favor of the Nice Shore Night Hawks in Mallard's country here in Randolph. Up the middle, three on two, weaving through in the circle, right to the front off the stick. Jammed again to the front, and Butler going to haul up. Is the luck of the Irish certainly not on his side here in the third period? Well, St. Patrick's Day hockey here in Norfolk County is a once again we'll get a face off in offensive territory. 6.46 to go in the third. Draw to the right of Parker Butler. Brad Perry taking his face off. Matt Gurton going to win it behind him south of the goal line. All the way out is Quillen going to feed it in low. Chased on the far side by Brad Perry right to the front. Slid through the circle to the boards. Albert Smith has got it as he looks behind him. Now 6.30 to go. Pinned along the corner wall, two on two. Gonna pop out, Quillen, forced right to the front, clips a skate. Picked up the middle, rolling at the back of the circle. Chase down, Pyla in the corner, gonna throw a body. Standing tall, now again, hand over hand. Norfolk gonna bring the other way. It's Albert Smith over center with it. The left wing side, Coke Blues. As the Mallards have had a hard time generating any offensive buzz in this third period. McGovern made it their period in the second, but since then, this Mallards team on life support, trying to hang with North Shore, has beaten them out in the speed department all weekend. Right to the front and another breadbasket save for Butler. 5.50 to go in regulation. And you got to wonder if the score stays like this, if the Mallards might get aggressive, try to pull their goaltender.
Trailing just by three, nothing to lose. Face off going to be in the offensive zone. Great side of Parker Butler. Draw going to be Martin against Kearney. There's a putt forced on down right to the front. Flips the skate on the backhand out through neutral McGovern. Going to race ahead. Poked loose by Duquette. Topped right to the net. Off the stick jamming at it was McGovern as he couldn't get it through. Up the air, off the glass, pinned along the far side wall, and now one-handed in. Wood Woodward standing by his own goaltender, excuse me, is that up out of play. 5.26 to go here in the third. Offensive zone face off for the Mallards. Going to come to the right of Hunter to Charles. Kearney will take this face off. Got McGovern slotted to his right. Paul Cinquagrana to his left. Is Cinquagrana certainly the missing piece on this line? As this group started to get going, is that up out of play? And we'll need a new puck. 5.22 to go. 5-2 score in favor of the Nighthawks. Just the Mallards trying to cling in here and get a couple late gritty goals. This team plays right till the final horn, but they've certainly taken the foot off the gas pedal here in the third. 20 miles, 20 smiles, nobody rides for free. And the Mallards have certainly tried to ride for free as Kearney on the backhand looks to the front. Gave it away in the high spot, right back to the boards. Behind the net, Woodward chases it down. Off the glass up top, Kearney. Back of the far wing circle, drifting, waiting up the middle. Gets picked by Wheats as he'll skate the other way. Over the line, crossing center, swerving into the zone. Weeds trying to come coast to coast. And going to come free off the boards in the corner. 4.50 now left. Mallards the other way. Stretch feed looking for McGovern. Couldn't find him as he goes all the way to the corner to chase it down. Left up top. It's like Landon forced it to center. Hand over hand, Patrick Martin. Cutting into the zone, Halloran. Throw it wide over the cage. Whistled up the wall, out to center yet again. Hand over hand, caught a leg. Standing in the offensive zone, Albert Smith has a hard time staying with it. Back waiting in the circle, forced to center. Into the zone, deking and waiting through the middle. 4.15, now to go. Martin cuts ahead on the doorstep. Kick play just wouldn't go. Danny Shea was right in front of the net, trying to find his first goal of the weekend. Through the circle, up the middle. Burton can't get it through. Martin now winds. Butler kicks it out. Parker Butler looking like a completely different goaltender in his third as he comes up with a routine save this time. Parker Butler trying to hang tough despite the score on the board. 5-2 in favor of the visiting Nighthawks. Trying to get their fifth win in their inaugural season here tonight. Nighthawks on a three-game slide. Mallards are looking to get to a three-game win streak for the first time. So it's nice to see two wins in a row, but a third would be even better as Butler with a glove save as he was in danger. Lots of late stoppages here in this third period. Is a draw left side of Butler going to be Roberg against Matt Girton. Quick win to the boards. Snapped out in front of the blue line. Caught a leg. Through center it goes. Cutting hollering up the middle in the high slot to the low slot. Couldn't get it through. As a save off those black pads. Give it to Hunter to Trout. Four on three. They come the other way. Two on two zone entry. Loose to the boards with 320 now left. Girton was waiting as this one pinned along the wall. 315 left. Norfolk behind their own net. Adam Towie to the far side. Jack Hollerin going to come on ahead over center. Up into the zone as it poked loose. Roberts got it, wrapping it around. David Pyla in the corner. Four strike to the front gets picked. Danny Shea. Now is it caught a leg? Off the top of the boards to center. Her in beyond red. In defensive ice, David Pyla side to side. Worked up the boards yet again. Kearney chases it down in the high slot. Back of the left wing circle. Up and going to get out of play. 2.37 left. So we'll stay in the offensive zone here for the Norfolk Mallards.
Is Hayden Kearney going to take this face off? Knifing at the butt down low as it got away from McGovern. In the corner, Woodward going to force it up the boards. Chasing in the top of the circle. Kearney couldn't find it bar down like he wanted. Out up the wall it'll come. North Shore through the middle. Off the top of the boards, Tyler Harrington going to feed it up ahead. McGovern in a high slot throws it up to the netting. It goes 2-16 left here in the third. So the faceoff will stay in the offensive zone as the Mallards going to make some changes. Time winding down, trying to evolve the chances here against North Shore in the hopes of playing above 500 hockey. Team got to 500 with a win last night. Is inside the zone, forced past the post. Going to roll up the walls. So game four of the season series will loom large. If the Mallards can't hold this one, so will again try to get to 500. Butler knocks aside. Off the wall, Jack Halloran going to cut through neutral. Pulls up in the zone through the half march. Was looking back for Girton. And in three lines here in this third period of the Mallards is this third line getting a lot of ice time. Smith in the corner, back through the circle, got picked off. Gurnell, is it come in two on one? Cordillo down the far side, is it caught the twig of Gavin Elms? 1.35 left, Elms behind the net. Forced up the boards far side. To center ice, this one comes. Is Woodward going to go hand over hand? Brought through the middle. As Lombard dropped it back. Duquette into the zone. Cutting in the corner, threw it off the left side of the net. Duquette on the far side, through the circle yet again. Woodward's got this one, forced up top off the pads. 108 to go here in the third. Through the circle is the Mallards. Trying to end this game on a high note. Cinquagrena over to McGovern. Thrown up into the netting yet again. As McGovern's had a few of those tonight. I think he's starting to get frustrated. Sometimes a shot placement, everything. And McGovern certainly having a rough time with it. Especially here in his third. As he's been looking for the hat trick. Drop down in the circle. It's out through neutral, racing it down, 50 seconds left. Pyla to the right of his goaltender. Good work hand over hand through the ring, up to neutral yet again. On the backhand, fed to the far side. Kearney down a left wing circle to save right on the North Shore crest. And a halt play yet again. 38.5 left in an offensive zone faceoff coming up here for the Mallards. Kearney. As we once again remind you, April 13th, this team will be back here at home for an 8 p.m. game as it'll be against Boston. So a week on the road next week. Then you get an off weekend for Easter. One more road game. And then back here at home for one. In the defensive zone, regular season. Got about six weeks left. Up the middle, over the center line. In front of the North Shore bench, picked by O'Brien. As he'll go up on the backhand. Grabbed off the wall, Martin, fed back behind him. Held by Quillen, who runs the time down, five seconds left. To the left of his goaltenders, Brad McGovern's two goals, not going to be enough tonight. And the Mallards going to fall in game three of the season set, 5-2. McGovern adds goals eight and nine, and the North Shore Nighthawks, despite falling behind 2-0 early, rally with five consecutive goals, including four in the third period, to take the win. Gurnell finishes with three points on the weekend. They'll lead the Nighthawks offensive effort. And Brad McGovern once again shows up big for the Mallards, but it's not enough. We remind you, this team on the road next weekend, two teams, 8 p.m., going to meet in North Shore next Saturday night. And then Nor Norfolk going to be Sunday at Boston before they return here at home April 13th. So the two teams salute each other on a job well done. Mallards still in control of the season set 2-1. And you're going to want to head on out to North Shore next weekend, 8 p.m., Saturday game. As these two teams wrap things out. 5-2, your final tonight. Thanks for watching, and have a great week.